Hi, I'm Kristen McCrackus, and I'm the author of a new book on the history of invisible ink. I'm Jason Lai, and I'm a color chemist, so I'm really interested in Christie's book. There's a long history of using eggs to write secret messages. We're going to take these boiled eggs, let them cool, and write secret messages on them. Two liquids boiling here to write our secret message eggs. On the right we've got oatmeal, and on the left we have potato starch. One of my favorite stories in the book involves a prisoner who used oatmeal to write secret messages. We're straining some oatmeal here to have some secret writing juice. Very stodgy ink here. Ah, now we're getting some liquid. Like bamboo uh, kebab sticks. And what I'll do is cut them like this so that they make a nice uh, flat edge which is somewhat absorbent for the ink. Okay, here I am writing with my stodgy oatmeal on an egg and you can use a variety of substances. There's all kinds of different color changes depending on the concentration of the starch, the type of starch, the concentration of the iodine, you can get some blues, blacks and browns to come through. The starch and the iodine come together and make a colored complex. Uh, you can see it's a very dark material. Don't get it on your skin like Christy did. It looks else... like prune, prune juice <laughs> here, right? You'll, you'll stain your skin. It'll wear off though. And we want to dilute it down so it's like a brandy color. Yeah, that's good. Now it's turned from prune juice to brandy. Cheers. So how about... Don't drink this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't drink this. Let's put, let's put it in here. It doesn't have to be very strong. This is my kitchen, everything will fall over. <laughs> so, okay, go ahead. Alright, are you ready? You dip your egg. Uh, hey, this looks like Easter. Okay, and you see. <gasps> oh, it oh came out. what Help. is this? Help me! Help me! <laughs> There's a message on that one too, Christy. Hello! Hello! <laughs> now, this looks, this looks black. Yours looks that lovely blue. I love well, that I blue think, so much. Isn't this one the one with the oatmeal? Yes. Potato starch gives you a nice blue color. Mm-hmm. So... Get me out of prison! Get me out! Troops have landed, raise the flag! <gasps> Delaporta recommended writing secret messages with a mixture of alum and vinegar, substances still available in grocery stores today. He told readers that they could easily perform an errand of deception. This recipe has been handed down for 300 years. We've boiled numerous eggs and gone through saucepan after saucepan of boiling eggs and we still haven't gotten this experiment to work. If I eat one more boiled egg, I'll turn into an egg. <laughs> I can't send an errand of deception on this egg because it does not go through the eggs. But to solve this problem, we've devised a new experiment. Logwood uh, chips. And you can make almost kind of a tea with these wood shavings. The initial dye... Ooh released. It's this pretty color here. Yeah. And you know, Christy and I were talking and, and it seems like, you know, color changes are certainly the, the one of the things that, that first attracted me to chemistry. Years ago, when people still use natural dyes to dye wool and fabrics, uh, the dye itself was not what we call substantive to the cloth. It didn't adhere to it very strongly. And so a mordant was used, a mordant being a metal, and uh, in fact, alum is one of the mordants for logwood. Thanks. Oh, that looks lovely. So yeah, this is uh, this is the uh, this is the logwood steeping, and this here is is just pure alum in some water. And we're going to write our write our message on here like this. So because it's Easter, we really wanted to show you a secret message on an egg. This logwood will complex with the alum. Oh, there comes the message. It says, 
Enog. Enog. Do you want to show the viewers? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see how this one comes out. It's a bit warm, crispy. Mm-hmm. In jail. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, yeah. Don't drink it, yeah.